Hi all. Okay, um, yeah, I pondered overnight there about what to do if I should pod on a little bit. The fact that we've now got catastrophic loss, we've lost the game anyway. But just to see maybe how things might have went. Um, also, obviously, I'm cursing at this one and thinking. You know, maybe this was looking okay. Maybe this was a risk worth taking. What well, was this? But I think I'm just having one of the hindsight moments again. Where, you know, the card being what it was, not just a purple triangle, but also the brown with the mortar and obviously the triangle too. Um, yeah, but that did, did just show you, in fact, not, not just that. Uh, if purple had not been on the card, because we got purple, oh, let's chuck the card down there again. We got purple just fire and brown doing the mortar action, which stretches that one, stretches uh, the three hexes, and then we also had red that was firing. Okay, that would have just disrupted the unit, but disruption itself was mm, not the greatest. Okay, going by what had happened, I would have preferred that result, obviously. But there was three, three colours that really hit us there. Um, so yeah, uh, it just shows you it, it was a well, whether it was a mistake or not, I don't know. I feel like I had to take the risk, but now I, I, I cannot get a successful amount of victory points to say, well, OK, it was that. But I could still carry on and see if the victory point total I get, and then we could maybe sort of consider, well, if I had got away with this move, you know, this is what would have happened. Um, so I figure it, it's everything's set up. I've no rush to get this table back, so... Um, and... Because I've been away for about a week there, just even that little um, play last night, there wasn't enough of all. It was pretty much event. Uh, uh, an attempted landing of a unit which failed, then then an event and some fire phase. But um, I don't know, it kind of got me thinking about it again, thinking, well, I wouldn't have been quite... I would quite like to see what the next um, US action phase is going to be, you know. Uh, okay, I got dragged away there, so not quite sure what I was talking about. I think it was the whole thing about moving on and just trying to play it out and see what happens. Uh, yeah, I don't need the table, I don't need this map removed. Not at the moment anyway, I mean, if things start getting worse and whatever, then I might still scrap it. But, um, okay, um, well let's just do it. We're on to the next event card. Um, I did want to mention, well, one thing, I got a reply back from Martin saying that this HQ can be put anywhere on the on the track. Um, uh, which, okay, I mean, I don't, yeah, it does sound alright. It says it would be a logical if it had to go um, in DW, I suppose, but um, I don't know, I just kind of thought I might have to stay beside where it's the uh, guys deployed. But I suppose this is later, later on and they're redeploying it, reorganising it. It's just because it says it's disorganised rather than delayed. Eh? I think that's what was throwing me a bit. However, I generally go with what Martin says, so we'll leave it in ER1 where I put it. Um, and yeah, and I just, I did look back on the last bit of video footage and a couple of things just to mention here that some of you might have pointed out. I talked about having 27 strength here against, if this death marker was a 3, it would be 27 against uh, 14, which isn't quite doubled by one point. But if we remember, we've got a hero here. So that could be 28 points. So that's good to know. We could have 28 to 14. Um, obviously the hero could stand in for some nasty artillery or naval artillery that might be on the the counter as well, but uh, which is good as well. Um, and then the other thing I'd mentioned about 
I mean, I couldn't move this unit anyway because he, he was used to fire to disrupt that guy. But um, I did talk about it. It was a shame because I would have liked to have moved them into one of these hexes. Well, they're both full, these hexes as well, which I noticed and I thought, well, you wouldn't be able to move that. And I wouldn't want to move it into there. So, however, I couldn't move it anyway. But it's just... I was going on about it and I noticed uh, I was talking a lot of rubbish. Okay. Right. Um... So shall we just push on? Yeah. And no guarantees I will get to the end. I might decide that, nah, it's just, we've lost anyway. Let's just uh, forget about it. But at the moment, I feel like playing a wee bit more. So let's do it. Um, okay, so we're going to get the second event. And this is the one that could bring uh, reinforcements with uh, the armour, the panzers. So here we go. We're on turn 25. So, event card for turn 25. <laughs> Still no Panzer Martin. Uh, take a naval fire marker, and well, we'll always be happy to do that. So, yeah, a nice event. Okay, so HQ and Engineer, f HQ, Engineer and HQ phase. That's how it's pronounced, girl. Um, well, we didn't have artillery fire, and it was it was on one of the card in the west, but we didn't actually it didn't actually fire, so no issues with that. So we still can't place the other base. Hopefully, next turn we will be able to, because I'm hoping to take this out in a one hour, but we still can't place it here. So we're just going to improve the range on this side again. Uh, that does... Ah, right, it was on 4 anyway, so... It keeps it on 4, so... And... My um, guess is that'll mean there'll be no more... Garrisons to look at. 1, 2, 3, 4, yeah, this is 5 away. I've got this one. That's 5, yeah. Uh, and yeah, we can't do that one because Red's firing down in it. That's right, yeah. Um, okay, and then the HQ, oh, the HQ's going to jump up to, still nothing, it's not in a field of fire, so it's going to jump up to the maximum of four, so that's good. So that'll mean, that's in here, isn't it? Yeah. It stretches out to this guy, who I think had a plan to do something, didn't he? Yeah, we were planning to have a go at this, weren't we? And this does look like the mistake, I think. We should have, like Martin said, forget about this, A, exit, and go to the C exit, where it's empty. We also know there's no other reinforcement. Well, they could redeploy up there, mind you, as well. There is that. But, but yeah, probably should have decided to scrap coming down this way. But However, I've started making some movements, and I think we had a plan, so I'll get around to that. Um, okay, so, and then the other side, um, oh, I think, yeah, no, we've got the engineer base there, and we're, well, actual fact, I think, I think we could put it here, but I don't think we want to, so we'll just increase the range of the one that's um, already there. Uh, that moves that up to three, so possible garrison maybe. Uh, no, no, because we can't garrison any of these two because blue's firing at here. We can't garrison any of these two because red's firing at there. And yeah, that's all we get from there, isn't it? From a range of three. So yeah, nothing doing there. Um, and HQ, I, I don't think I'll bother command post on any of them, I think. I think I probably just want to keep this group together and make it move. And as we know, the other one got put back on the track. So yeah, I think I'll just leave that at that. So that's that. Um, so now, US action phase. 
Yeah, I might as well just keep going, I think. Right, well, this guy got disrupted. For that blue, but that's, that's not a big deal. Um... Yeah, so that's that. So, what were our thoughts? <laughs> um, well, I suppose it's blue position. Now, I do need to watch my actions across here. Well, I've already said that stretches out to there now, doesn't it? Let's let me have a wee pause and have a wee think. Oh, okay, well, first thing... I can move this tank, and we're going to go by what John Brown said, that because this hex side is secondary road, and this hex side is the trail, we're going to say that we are starting on the secondary road, and move this guy, so he gets to move two hexes, he gets a free move from the, he gets the traffic management free move, um, and these other guys are stuck, we can't get in it, we can't clear this hex yet, well, we still need a range to go up one more to five, but also... More importantly, we need to take this guy out. So I think we're going to manoeuvre slightly to get get at that. Um, there's, a, uh, there's a bit of thinking to be done here, though, about what we do with these. If I bring one of these down, what do I do? Um, I think it would be safer to have two units sitting in steady fire, one of each shape, and get the ranged unit. But uh, like I said, the ranged unit... Can't make a two hex move right now. So I think these guys are gonna to have to hang back. There seems no point in uh Yeah. Okay. Okay, I was just looking about attacking this and this is a strength of two in total. Um so, we would only need to double it and have the weapons. So, it would be four. However, this is the one that's got the demolitions required. We need demolitions and bangors. This unit on top's got the bangors, and the one below has got demolitions. Um, there's a slope in between. So, these are going to get double if we attack just with that. But, I think we have to attack with that. Um... Although, I suppose, I could attack with that and just the one down the bottom and leave that guy able to... I don't see the point in that, because I'm having to use an action on that anyway. So, if I use an action on that, that's 8 strength, and if it's just these two guys that attack, that's attacking up the slope, so it means these would be double. But it would still bump them to 4, so it would be 8 against 4. So we would have the weapons, and we'd have double... And because we're over turn 17th, that would be, they both would be eliminated. And that would clear out that position. So, I think I'm going to do it that way. Now, the thing here is I could use, I could wait until we activate the 29th and use an action from the 29th to do this attack. And I was thinking I might be doing that because... I might have more use for actions on this side. It's possibly not. Well, no, that's not true. Because if you look up here, if I'm going to move... Uh, one, two, three, four... Yeah, this guy's out of range, you know? And... Um, I don't know, I think... Uh, he's seen one, two, three... Uh, he's on range as well. So, it's maybe not going to matter. But I still think... Uh, maybe I should just have a look across the other side, though, just in case. Yeah, I can only really see the use for one action across in the west. Um, there's even another unit that just lost us the game there. He's disrupted, so he's just going to have a free move to remove his disruption. So, yeah, the other single step unit's down. That's all right, maybe I should show you. These guys down here, there's two of them in here, and there's two of them in here, and they're, they're not really doing anything. They're, they're stopping these hexes from... Well, this this is a... 
Well, it's an o occupied WN position, WN hex, and we notice that if any of these are not in our control, is it not in our control, or we lose a point from them, don't we? Yeah, that's for each WN hex you do not control. Well, I did wonder about this whole, the fact this is a double position. I think I talked about this before. Nobody's come back and said anything. So the fact it says hex, my thinking is that that then changes and we do actually control this hex. But if I put a unit in there, we would not control that hex because orange is firing into there. But it could be argued that Orange is firing into this position and, well, like I say, nobody, certainly nobody's commented on the fact and said, Grant, you do not control this hex. So I'm hoping they still do. Uh, this one's a different story because he's, he has just um, a single hex position. So, and this one too. So I don't, I don't think we want to move any of them. I don't. It's not really an issue. And in actual fact, I think I want to leave that hero... Well, mind you. See, after seeing that mortar fire, and I remember Martin saying that I got lucky because I've never really had any mortar fire. And that was, a, that was the first mortar fire I had and it cost me the game. So, um, so yeah, mortar fire from any of these units. Um... Could. However, you know what? We've, we've lost anyway, so if we take another catastrophic loss, then fair enough. So I'm probably just going to leave this guy here, I think. Because he would then, because I don't want that getting um, reinforced or redeployed to, because then we won't control that. So, yeah. I think I initially had talked about switching places with these or something like that to bring this guy out of the fire, but. I don't think that matters now. So, yeah, as far as I can see, I only need one action across this side. So I think I'll save that for the other side. Which then allows me to just move these guys. So I think we're doing something. Now, I, I had talked initially about running by this brown position, hadn't I? But we need this. We need this draw. You know, we've only we're about to take this out, and then there's only this standing in our way. Uh, well, once we get the engineer base built, but there's not a lot of that to clear. But there's only that standing in our way. So, and the fact that the draws were four points, we should try and do that. Um, that's not a VP hex, but however. Um, but we could certainly position ourselves around about it. I know I was going to make a kind of dash with these guys, but um, you know, all, all I need to do with this one is move it along into here, and now it's within range of that, and get a couple, get something positioned here, and then something positioned here. So. So, okay, so I'm going to move that now, no possibility of two hex moves, so I'm going to move that into there. Now, I want this range infantry unit to be the one that's having a go at the red position, so... Well, it doesn't really matter where he goes, so I'm as well putting him into there first. And then, next move, I'll move him into there. Um... Yeah, so next turn I'll move that into there, that into there, and then hopefully have something to move, sorry, hopefully have something to move into here, round the back. Oh, that's just sporadic. Oh, no, it's red, Grant, it's red. Um, yeah, something like that, anyway. So, that into there, that into there, and then... Uh, actually, could we not have got that guy on the road then, that, that trail? Um, no. Well, yeah, I suppose. Don't think it makes much difference, does it? 
Uh, hang on. Yeah, let's just try to see a better positions to get on where you can maybe do a 2x move, but there's a lot of ball casual all, all around here. So, um, yeah, it doesn't seem feasible. So uh, I'll just move that guy into there. And then we'll move the general into there, I think. And then we're still going to be able to take that out. So uh, if that is removed... Yeah, they're not going to be able to trace communication into there. And they can't go down towards the pavilion beside the beach. And yeah, so that's fine. Okay. Um, what next? Okay, so I think the plan here had been to have this guy, this guy, and this guy have an attack at last, but I think we were maybe going to bring this on, were we? Or were we? Um, yeah, I think so. So, oh, oops, that's my naval fire marker, right. Um, so we can't make this move just yet, so we, we move him into here. Now he was within range of the command post, one, two, three, four. Uh, so he can move into there. Now, this means that we've got to move this guy into the orange, haven't we? Um, and then next turn we move these two into here, and then this one from here into the tents. So, yeah, it's a gamble, isn't it? I think we're going to open up gaps with a move of this, aren't we? Yeah, pretty sure. Okay, well what about this guy then? What were we doing with him? And... Mm, maybe we don't want to do that yet then. Yeah, possibly. <clears throat> uh, no, I do, don't I? I want to get them two into this hex. Now, I'm not sure if I, my plan was to have waited on this guy getting along as well. It might have been... I can't get a two hex move. Well, I could go one, two into here, but... It's not exactly where I want to be going, is it? Where I could go one into here. Again, free move from the command post. And next turn I could do two hex move into here. And so on and the Well, I can leave this guy sitting here then. I think we've got a turn with an extra turn to wait then if we do it that way. Yeah, the problem is they're both going to be sitting in intense orange fire. So if it fires, both of them are hot and disrupted. <laughs> Not a lot I can do about that, is there? Because it's like intense here, intense here, intense there. And these are the two steady hexes around the back. But that doesn't give us the flank that we're probably going to need. Um, yeah. now, if I'd had the 12 strength to be able to position into the area attack it without the flank but I've not really got that option have I okay so I think that might be just staying there then um, ooh Naval gunfire though, Grant. We got a naval gunfire marker. Just wonder about maybe putting these two guys on and so I will move that into there, I think. And then next turn maybe put them both in there. And then maybe have that naval gunfire. 
I mean, as I suppose I could put one of them into there just now, and that would give me 13 strength. And I hang on, what's the required? And they need a radio, don't they? Yeah, I need the radio on command of an HQ, and the HQ is 1, 2, 3, 4. Uh, no, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. No, nah, it's not going to get to there. Well, the HQ's at its max, isn't it? It's at 4. But this guy underneath, he actually has a radio. I just wonder, would it, would it be a waste? I think it'd be a waste to just use the naval gun fire with just one unit. 13 strength, where I could wait and get them both in position and have 17 strength. Mm, might not make any difference though, because the likelihood of a flying computer. And, mm. Another thought is, after, since I've moved this into here, I can actually move this guy into here. And there's not not a gap there with that guy moving it in there. Before he moved, there was, I think. But there's not a gap to these two. And then, next turn, move these two into here, move this into here. Then I do have the flank, possibly. <laughs> Again, he's, he's going to be setting an intense fire. But we need to have a look at it. Um, just wonder if it's better to wait. Mm. God, the game's gone anyway. <laughs> Take, just throw, throw things in there. Yeah, what the heck? Let's do it. Yeah, the problem is if he gets if he does get hit now then there's communication traceable to these two, isn't there? Oh whatever. Whatever. Let's just leave it at that. Okay, so I think the last bit of the puzzle here is these four here. Yeah, let me think about this. Okay, um, I think I can 2x move this guy one down the slope into the draw here. This is just sporadic red. So I think I could 2x move him into here with the intent of the next turn move it into here. Move this guy into here and move the range infantry into here. Then we're sitting set up with enough strength to take that out in a one -off. Um Yeah, but that's assuming fire in between that red doesn't fire and Spoil all that fun. I think maybe go with that though. Again, this is a command post move, so one, two. Um, I mean, I don't think this guy was actually going to move move towards this, but I don't know yet if that's right. So I think I might just bring him. Oh no, I can't two x move him down there. I thought I could two x move him into that. There, but that's going through steady red. It's a bit of a bummer. Well, maybe I do push him up. But I'm going to open up green here, am I? Uh, um, hang on, is there a way to stop that? Maybe... Uh, one, two, three, four. Right, he would need an action. Let me just think about this one. So, if I one, two, how many there? Are, and then he would get a free move. One, two, and there. 
I did want to leave one of them about just in case this all went wrong with the red though. And then if I moved this guy one to no green stall. Yeah, green still open then, isn't it? That's C4 still, if I do that. If I just move that one hex, but... Um, actually, that maybe does work, doesn't it? If I just move that from there to there, the communication's not traceable. Yes, it is, Grant. Yeah. I was starting to think there, well, maybe we should look, there's not that many units across in the east. And as long as they've got units in their field of fire, they won't redeploy. And we've got no units in the reinforcement pool. However, once we go in the west, I think we're going to take out that red position. And that means there's going to be a unit in the reinforcement pool. Which hits that one on the head. Because it is true, I mean, I think um, we've got red here, which I think fires into here, yeah. Orange fires into there too. Uh, the blue position fires into here. Uh, this, this red fires into here. And we know this brown has fires into here. So every one of the reinforcement position um, has a... US unit in its field of fire. So it'll not redeploy. So if we do open up a hex, like if we do leave you know this green position, if I if I was to move into here maybe, if we leave this open, nothing can redeploy to it. However, if we do put that guy back in the reinforcement pool then something can reinforce on it. And that would be bad, wouldn't it? Yes. That'd be awful bad. I don't know what the answer is here. I mean, do I just wait? Um, until we can get these non-infantry units up this draw. Once we can take this green position out. Eh, uh, red position, sorry. Hmm. Maybe. Hmm. I might move that into there, maybe. I don't know what I really don't know what I'm doing here. I need to take that red position out, and then it'll give me a few more. Then we get our engineer range to clear this last hex, and we get moving. So I think that's that's a priority. We should be trying to put some more strength, maybe round about this. So I mean, I think just putting that guy there is probably not right. So. Uh, I can't, if I move one of these away, I'm in the same situation, I'm not. No, there's no harm putting him in there, I think. Yeah, I was just looking there, that's probably what I should look at. If... I just use this, this, and the range infantry to go for this. So next turn, this goes into here, this goes into here, and then this goes into here. Now, this guy can't get hit in there. Well, <laughs> I say he can't. From normal fire, shall we say. So then I've got two units in steady fire. Now, they're not going to be disrupted if they get hit. So that would knock that down to two strength. It would knock that down to four strength. That would be six, and we still have this seven strength. I know, other things could happen. Okay, so that's 13. We would have the weapons. Assuming this guy does not get hit, of course. Um, and that would screw things right up. 
we would have the weapons and what is he four so what did I say we would have 12 13 2 6 13 against 4 which is doubled to 8 so that would be enough to get the death marker and disrupt him so that would be good and then of course best case scenario is none of these units get hit and we take that out in a one off and remember he can't he can't withdraw so I think that's okay. I think we just leave that. And I think we've got time to just wait with these units just now and see if this stuff can get up here and follow it. You know, I mean, this road it is still a secondary road. It's on a main road here, but this is a secondary road right off to exit C up there. So, you know, that's one, two... One, two, one, two, and then off. That's, admittedly, that's four turns, isn't it? Hmm. And, you know, and are we holding these victory point hexes as well? Because, yeah. Yeah, that's, uh, yeah, tricky. We need this force, we need all this to happen. And then, then move all that, all this, but then some of this is intending on coming across to the brown. We just don't have the time, do we? Yeah. Okay, um, well, I think I'm just going to leave things like that then. Um, yeah, this is a good side, isn't it? And we're, we're still struggling to fill, cover everything and make it all work okay I'll just have a wee pause and as long as I'm good with that well we only use one action there but I don't this stuff can't move up the draw any further this guy I did ponder on moving him out of the sporadic red and here um, for safety but then I was forgetting this is on the lower ground, so this can't communications traceable into there and then away. So I don't want to do that. Just if he was if, if red fire does turn at circles and then disrupted this guy, then we've got to wait another turn. Yeah. Um. Okay. Well. I think I'll just leave it at that. Yeah. Okay, let's... Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I forgot about these guys. These are still on this side. Hey, yay, yay. Okay. Right, well, this is... Yeah, these are the new guys that came on. They're a full... Yeah, big strong force here. So yeah, they need to be considering the brown position too. Ooh, that's a 2x move in there, which is nice. Um, hmm. Uh, okay, what was my thinking here then? Can we stop that guy? This isn't a bockage hex, actually. We can get something in there. And something in there. We can have two range units at him as well. We've got quite a force we can go at him. I actually think I need to move this guy out of the way to make room for things. Because uh, these... These two guys could two hex move through this hex into here. Ah, uh, sporadic brown though. I don't want to concentrate the hex. That's probably silly, isn't it? Mm. Well, I'll never think here. Um. Okay. So. 
I don't think there's any point putting the range guy into this hex yet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this as... Right, I, I think I can do this. I'm going to move this, activate it as part of the um, first uh, division. Oh, oh, that's not a road. That would have been nice to two hex move into there, wouldn't it? Ooh, he can though. He could two hex move into there, I think, which is nice. Um, well, why not put two? Why not put that little guy in there then? The WM position. Oh, you know what? I can wait. I can wait. I can just do that from... It's just... You know, he's going to get a free action, but I'll just weave it. I'll weave that. Because what I'm going to do is 2x move this one and then 2 into here. Because I don't... Like I say, that's where I want the range, this range unit. But there's no need to put it into position yet because we've got to get this other guy. He's going to take two turns to get it to here. And yeah, and then just move this and here. Does that make sense? Yeah, because I don't want to concentrate the hex, like I said. Um. Okay. Now, what I will do is I'll 2x move this guy though to join the ranged infantry and there. And then, yeah, these are coming over the bluff, so I think they're just going to have to move over that bluff and sit there, aren't they? Uh, hang on. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. So I'll move these two into here. And although it's concentrating the hex, it doesn't really matter. Um, that's kind of, I mean, I want to put the HQ in there. It's a wee bit risky because that's probably the only thing that's going to be in steady brown fire. Everyone else is... Spur well, mind you, it does hit sporadic first, doesn't it? But that's uh, still risky. I'm going to move that guy out, so... Ew. Well, the general's sitting there, giving them a free move. But is he going to move? Maybe. Um, well, what I can do is... Move it into here. And then that covers them, and it would just mean that one guy. But he's beside the general at the moment. He might need an action, so... Yeah. Okay, right. I think that's me done with the uh, first division then. So, well, we'll just hang about there because moving across. Uh, however, this video has stretched a little bit. So, what I'll do is I'll take a cut there in case it gets the other part gets too long. I can separate them. But if it's if it goes a bit quicker than this one, I'll just join them together anyway. So I'll take a cut for now guys, okay? Cheers. Hi all. Right, just come straight back there. Um, this phone can take hold more space as well, so I've just left it. <clears throat> uh, right, so I didn't use an action at all over that other side, did I? Two, I used one action mark and then took it off. Which actually then makes me think, hang on a minute, just in case. <laughs> we will activate this as the first um, division before we move across. I, I don't I really don't think it matters to be honest. I'm not going to use up all my action markers though. But we will do that. So we're attacking here. We have eight strength. This guy requires Bangalore's and demolitions. 
we have Demolitions from the bottom guy there and Bangalore's from the top. So we have 8 against, unfortunately this is a swap, so he is getting the double, so it's 8 against 4. We have the weapons, he's doubled, but we're past turn 17, so Death Marker is eliminated and the unit is defeated. So there we go. Take him out in the water, good stuff. Um, now that now means that we can, next engineer phase, put our engineer base here at last. It's a bit of a bummer because we probably want to increase the range on the other one <laughs> to its maximum five. Oh no, I, we would actually just look at that. I'm looking, uh, it's at, sorry, the range of it's at four at the moment and it could go up to five next turn. Or, but I can only do one or the other. I can only increase the range or put a new base on in the same sector. And the good thing about that, one, two, three, four, five, I would be able to grab that. However, I should be able to grab that as well because that should be there. Yeah, that's annoying. That's really annoying, that one. I don't know how I never noticed that and thought about it. Pretty sure that should be the placement for your engineer base. And these that draw, what was it? Draw E3. Anyway. Um, well, it might not matter then, because I think we're waiting on this infantry to come. Oh no, we decided we were going to go in there, didn't we? Well, what might actually happen is that will move into there and that will move into there. So that will probably cover everything. So it might not matter. Anyway. Right, so... Okay, so that was part of the first division then. Don't know. I should have realised, just wait till the before I'm done and then do that as last. And then... I've still got two action markers left anyway, so... Don't matter. Right, cross the other side. Um... Okay, disruption here. This is the guy that... Cost us the game, sadly. Um, so, nothing doing there. I've already said that everything... This could be reasonably quick across this side, to be honest. I don't really see the need to move any of these. Um, there's not an advance arrow from them coming down. You know, it's not that they can advance. Um... This tank's not got a place to go, really. <laughs> you know, the nearest draw is just far too far away. So, I don't think there's a need to move any of them. And I don't want to move this because, I mean, okay, we don't control the hex because orange fires into it. But if we were to move out of it and something goes into it, then we don't control this hex, so... I think we just leave everything in place. I'll still make the move if we get the chance. I'll still try and make the move with that guy. Just to see, you know, if we'd got luckier with the symbol and the colours and whatever. If he would have got away or not. But that's all kind of irrelevant. Okay, so... Um, yeah, well, here's where the bulk of things are. Well, let's just get on with this. I mean... <laughs> I don't think anyone's changed my mind here. I don't... I, see, I mean, okay. I could start saying, well, why don't you just move into here and try and take the orange position first to cut off this guy, but... Because catastrophic loss doesn't matter anymore, but that's a bit of a cop-out, I think. I shouldn't really be playing anymore, so... Let's just do what we planned, I think. Does mean this unit's going to go back to the reinforcement pool, well. So we need to be aware of that. Right, so um, these all get free activations. This is going to be an action. Oh yeah, this, was, this one stayed upright. That, that was one that could spoil things, couldn't it? Although <laughs> we lost the game, so <laughs> I suppose that was bad enough, wasn't it? Right, so we're attacking with this. That requires an action. Um... We're coming in with everyone, aren't we? 
I think, yeah, because it was going to be 28, which, well, 27, but I could use the hero. So that's 6, 10, 14. Uh, these are free moves from the HQ, as are these, although we've got a hero in there. So that's 6, 12, that's 20. And then we chuck the range 7 in, I think. Um, yeah, I think we do it that way. I don't really see... Try to be clever. It's not, we can't move this anywhere anyway. To get within range of this just yet. We need to just go for that. So, okay, so that's 28. No, sorry, 27. We have the weapons. We've got... We're flanking, and we've got the browning. So, I'm going to reveal the depth. Oh, that's a two of a machine gun. Ooh. Well, we had the hero as well. But well, the good thing is it's a two. Well, it wouldn't matter to that. We were still getting it. So, we've got the machine gun from this guy, or the hero. So, we could actually have 28 strength against 12. But... Yeah, he is escaping. There's no, there's not, <laughs> there's no way around about it, Grant. He's escaping. So we are eliminated. We're taking them both out in a one hour. So the death marker's gone. Um, do I have a different place for the the depth? Or I just put them all in the one pile? Yeah, it looks like a half. Oh well. Right, so the death marker's eliminated. The unit would be defeated. However, he's part of the the crew that can withdraw as long as they can trace German communications. So they can. So he's going to go in the... Right, I'm just going to have a look at him because it's maybe not nice to write this information down. But <laughs> I'm still going to try and remember it. Okay, so that goes in the... Well, that's, it's a, that's a tactical reinforcement then. Oh, oh no, 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 that, no, that can't be the case, surely. German withdrawal. When a US attack defeats a German reinforcement unit of the 352nd Division, um, which is this guy, isn't it? He's got 916 on his thing. Let's show them there. I think it tells you in the beginning. I'm pretty sure it's that big. That's slightly different. The brown colour, isn't it? Units designated 916, 915 or 352 are in the 352nd Division. Yeah, so that is the case. But it's just that the fact it's a tactical reinforcement. Does that mean it goes to the tactical reinforcement tool? I wonder. And... Does that matter? Well, it means it doesn't come in with depth, eh? Anyway, the unit withdraws instead of being eliminated. If it can trace German communication at the point of a moment of attack, place a withdrawn unit face down in the division reinforcement box, regardless of reinforcement type. Oh, well, there you go. There's the answer. So, it now becomes a divisional reinforcement. And will come in with um, depth, unfortunately. Okay. Right, but yeah, that's the best we could do, really, I think. I just have to hope that it doesn't appear in a horrible place, because it was a horrible unit. Four, flank, browning. Right, okay. Memorise that, Grant. Um, <laughs> uh, so the HQ, I don't think I'll bother. He's... He's got these guys. We now need to try and move on to this orange position. <clears throat> um, yeah. We need to watch these as well. I wonder if that tank could actually get get along. And just maybe end up controlling this hex. I don't think it could, could it? This is what turn 25, because it can't go on a road. This is turn 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31. Oh! He could, if I was able to spend an action on him every turn. So. 
they could get to this hex, so it's going to move through some red steady fire as well, which, well, being armoured might not be so bad. Well, we could certainly try that. It's kind of annoying. I'm just wondering if I could have moved on my hex already. <laughs> anyway, okay, so nothing more we want to do there, I don't think. Um, I probably do still want to weave this here. Now, hang on, though. If we... If we move this tank, and this tank's on a trail, his plan is to go along this trail and then hopefully by the time he gets here, this is all opened up for him to come out, isn't it? So, if he's to move one hex into there, again, traffic management move. Um, oh, yeah, I don't need to... As long as we can... This can be a garrison next turn. So that's not such a problem. I might still move that tank though. So is communication traceable to this at the moment then? Can't go there, can't go there, can't go there. It can go there but... No, it's okay still. So I think we're fine there. I think we just leave this guy here. Um, yeah, I think he was put there for a purpose to sort of... I think he was moved, wasn't he? I know he can be hit there, but... Yeah, I think still just leave him there. Um, so yeah, just I think just the last stuff is going to be what we're doing here. So, uh, yeah, what did I say? Two hex move into here. Could I do that? I could. Well, this guy. One. I mean, he can't, he can't two hex move into there, which would have been nice, actually. Oh, no, but I thought this guy could. One. Yeah, because he's secondary road and then primary road. And then he's sitting... Yeah, he doesn't really need to be in a position yet, but that's quite good to take this hex, I think. So one, two, move from the general. One, two... Yeah, because we're not, we're not interested in taking this draw. Then we give up with that. I mean... I mean, it does look sort of possible now, but I, I think the time's against us. Yeah. I think main purpose, it was like, get rid of that red unit so that we then had these. And then hopefully push on up into here and then see if we can stretch out, stretch our legs and run. There is some, the hexes there Quite, those are hedged, which um, I'm sticking my now <laughs> um, rather than balk out. So there's a two hex move, you know, one, uh, one, two, for instance. So maybe might be like grabbing our couple of points again. I don't know. I've got to cover my cover things when I move through them. That that's. Uh, Challenging in itself. Um, oh yeah, so there's another guy under here. I forgot about him. What can he do? Oh, can he get to D4? That would be nice. Um, yeah. Why not? So one, two hex move into there. That's pretty cool. Um, mm -hmm. The general, um, well, I see HQ's grabbing them, so the general would be better moving. 
to here maybe I think. Mm hmm Yeah. Okay, I think that's it. Um, well, we still have two action markers left, so I will indeed chuck one on this tank and uh, just move them along one. See, I, I, I don't actually think it will matter now that I think about it. Because <clears throat> um, we should be able to garrison uh, these. So one action mark away, but again, I, I don't, nah, I don't really see any worth in trying to move any of the guys. Okay, um, well there you go, well I'm pretty sure I could just add this one to that other bit, that's only 17 minutes, so we should just put it together as a one -er. I think that'll be okay. Yeah. Yeah, and I think I'll, I'll I think I'll persevere just to just to see. Okay, pretty sure that's it. Then I'll just have a wee pause and then tidy things up for the next turn. Uh, okay, there we go. Everything tidied up. Phase marker back. Oh, turn marker on to turn twenty six. Um. Yeah. And. Yeah. We'll see how it goes. Okay, I'll not uh, go on any longer. I need to remember I've got this naval gunfire marker. Although I think we're, we've got a plan for it already. However, that plan could be shot out there really, really couldn't it? Um, anyway, right. Okay, I'll, um, I'll upload this video uh, shortly and we'll get back with turn 26 sometime soon. Okay, cheers guys.